Hello, my name is Stephanie Kimbrough and I'm an adjunct professor at the Wake Forest School of Law. I teach a course called the use of technology in law practice and for this course I use a virtual law firm simulation to teach the students both ethics issues and best practices in the use of technology both when they're delivering services to clients online and when they are collaborating and working with other attorneys with virtual assistants or virtual paralegals and we use this virtual firm simulation which I will uh, put a demo up here for you to see in through an exercise so I have the students pretend to be an average person who needs legal assistance and they have to come up with a legal need, a legal request for services and I've had some very creative uh, stories come through and they can create documents to support for the lawyers to review um, but they register as a client uh, on the client side of the virtual firm and then during our online class sessions at the end of the session after we've uh, covered the material from the readings that we have we will as a firm go into this virtual firm simulation and address the different clients that we have for that day um, so it's scattered throughout the course of the 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 class and what happens is we make some basic assumptions from the beginning about the virtual firm we make the assumption that we are all practicing under and licensed under the same jurisdiction so we, we pick North Carolina as our jurisdiction we make that assumption we make the assumption that we're all extremely competent in every practice area that way I have a variety of students in the course who are going to go into different areas of law and this way when they pretend to be a client they can really focus in on that legal need that a client might have in their particular practice area and then as a firm too it kind of allows the students to draw from some of the other substantive law courses that they've had at the school when we go about answering the question so when we are going into the virtual firm simulation some of the ethics issues that we address are involved in just the process of um, working with the technology so we look at the different uh, malpractice checks that are built into the technology is there a jurisdiction check to help the law firm um, avoid unauthorized practice of law um, we have to analyze the legal issue the client has provided to determine whether or not we can handle the case we look at um, limited scope representation and unbundling and whether based on this uh, client we can reasonably unbundle the matter online or whether we have to send them to our traditional uh, law office and in what form could we use a technology to deliver services in that particular client situation so the virtual firm is just a platform for hands-on experience and additional discussion about the use of technology in law practice. Um, a lot of my students are going to be solo, some are going into small or medium sized firms and I have others who already have positions in large law firms or they're thinking about doing something different with their legal career but the course itself is designed to expose them to technology that regardless of where they end up practicing they are really going to need to have a background in or at least be comfortable with and know how to understand and keep abreast of that technology and of the security that goes behind that so that that's the goal with our virtual firm simulation and we combine that with the the online live courses and at the end of the course the students have created for me a uh, business plan for a law practice that incorporates the different forms of technology that we've discussed in the course so if you have any questions um, I will provide my contact information and feel free to to uh, contact me and ask thank you this is an example of our virtual firm simulation so this is the dashboard where our students and myself are the virtual firm and again we make some assumptions about the firm that we are as firm members competent in every practice area and that we're all licensed within the same jurisdiction so we go ahead and we say that we're all licensed in the state of North Carolina so we make these assumptions so that we can pretend to to operate as a, a real firm virtual firm would and each of the students has to pretend to be a client and at some point over the course of the um, 
the class, they must pretend to make up a legal need and register on the client side through a client portal, and um, they can attach documents to support their legal requests, um, just propose whatever kind of situation they would as an, an individual who's going online seeking legal assistance. And then when these clients register, our firm goes in, and this is what we see. This is the dashboard, and whatever's happened recently will show up here on the main page. And up at the top here, we have some of our malpractice checks. So we have, for example, if um, a prospective client has registered online for our firm, and they are not located within North Carolina, where we are all licensed to practice, then we will get this little notice up there at the top where the caution sign is, letting us know that we have one prospective client that, that may oppose an unauthorized practice of law issue if we don't check out the legal matter. And that's who this client is here. So we would click and go in, and we would review what that legal need was, and the client here is, is in Los Angeles, California, but if they had a North Carolina law-related matter, we would go ahead and, and, and potentially work with that client. So I'll show you an example of um, a matter that we worked on. So this is a client, and you can see that this individual registered, it was a student, and posed two questions to us. It was about a business merger. And you can see the students go into some detail, give us some interesting facts to work with, um, and then he attached a lease agreement for us to, to review. And then he posted another note on this thread. So as a class, what we did is we read through this, we looked at the attachment, and then the students had to decide, well, okay, as a firm, is this something we could unbundle and handle as a limited scope matter? Or is this something that would require full service? If so, how would we address this online? Um, to, to this individual, how would we go through the process of establishing the attorney-client relationship? How would we um, define the scope of the agreement, set the billing, all of these, do a conflict of interest check on the client? Um, so we go through all this process and you can see the simulation has um, leads and I haven't populated a lot of this since the course has been over. Um, but it has calendaring so we can schedule a Skype call with the client or um, a web conference, tasks for each other. We can even talk about billing. So we talk about alternative fee arrangements, fixed fees, value billing, as well as the traditional billable hour. When we start our discussions, we get in the habit of setting this little timer over here so that we're attaching to our client file the amount of time that as a firm we've worked on it so they can get used to doing that. Um, if they're going to be in a firm that, that works on the billable hour. Upload and download documents to the um, clients and to each other for collaboration. And so this is our virtual firm sim, and we're able within this to address a lot of the ethics issues that come up in delivering legal services online, but also talk about a wide range of law practice management issues that come up in traditional firms because most firms today are using some form of cloud-based practice management application, whether they're actually delivering the services to the clients online or not. So I believe that this type of hands-on experience really gives the law students good preparation for when they get out there, whether they're going to be in a solo practice and managing everything themselves, or whether they're going to be collaborating with other lawyers using this type of system in, in a larger firm structure.